Hey, Evan, good to talk to you. Um, I, I want to get some perspective on and your decision or your, your eagerness, I guess, to, to kind of come home, um, play for the crew, obviously, being from Ohio and whatnot, what that was like to, to make that move back to where you grew up. Yeah, Pat, it was uh, something that I'd been hoping for for a long time, to be honest. Um, you know, I really enjoyed my my childhood and adolescence growing up in, in Ohio. A couple hours north of Columbus, obviously, but, um, you know, it's something that now that I have three kids, I wanted them to experience that as well. And I wanted them to, to feel a part of, you know, where I come from, you know, what what kind of molded me and my wife into, um you know, the, the, the people that we are in Ohio and Cleveland and Akron, um, those, those places growing up were, were very influential to me. And, um, you know, I, I want my kids to experience that too. Um, and so far we love it. You know, we got there, um, right before Christmas and it's everything we could have hoped for. So, um, from a, a living standpoint, you know, it's, you know, we're very happy from, uh, professional standpoint it's it's a club that I grew up watching uh, it's the first MLS game that I ever attended um, and it's a historic club and there's there's not many of those types of clubs around and MLS you know they, they add clubs all the time it seems but uh, the ones with true history you know really stand out in Columbus is one of those for sure. Sort of to follow up obviously this team has an established goalkeeper in, in Aloy but he missed time last year he's obviously got international duty um, from your perspective, coming in as as you know perceived number two, how do you approach that role when there's an established starter already on a team? Yeah, um, you know that was one of the big things for me too. Is when when the opportunity was brought to me, um, I was fortunate enough to to be able to have some some influence or you know have my voice heard a little bit in in the trade discussions. And uh, at the time, you know there was there's other places that I could have you know, push to be a number one. And I still feel like there's, you know, I, I have that ability to do so, uh, you know, but all the things that I, you know, mentioned, you know, the first part of that question, it came down to would I be happier with my family being in Ohio and getting six to 10 games due to, um, you know, the things you mentioned with international duty, um, Aloy, you know, being injured a little bit last year, hopefully that's not the case this year. Um, but but those potentially, you know, being opportunities there or would I be happier going, you know, to the West Coast or somewhere further away from home and playing 30 to 34 games. And for me at this stage of my career and this stage of my life, you know, it was more appealing to me to, to come to a club that has an established culture, um, obviously did well enough to win the MLS Cup last year. And then, um, you know, be part of that while, while coming home. So all those things together. It was it wasn't an necessarily an easy decision, I wouldn't say, but uh, it, I just kept coming back to overall happiness for myself, and my family. And, um, you know, I, I'm certainly glad with the decision I made. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, whether I'm the, the first goalkeeper, second goalkeeper, you know, I've been in both positions, you know, throughout my career. And like you said, there's there's an established guy here. I, got, I have a great relationship with him already um, and we, we push each other and that's how it should be. And. You know, when my number's called upon due to whatever the, the circumstances are, uh, I'll be ready to do that. Hey, Evan, good to meet you. Uh, welcome to Columbus. And uh, I was kind of wondering, you know, you talk so much about, you know, love for Ohio and happiness of your family and all that and being here, you know, with the crew. How exciting is it that first year with the club and you're going to be a part of this team that's going to be opening up this new stadium in downtown, you know, seeing as you attended games back at the Horseshoe, played games, at Historic Crew Stadium, and now you're a part of this team that's about to open this gleaming new stadium in downtown Columbus. Yeah, it's it was certainly part of the decision, right? The, not only the the new stadium, but the new training facility. Um, you know, I, I think on the outside, obviously, people don't care as much about that, but from a player standpoint, the new training facility is is going to be uh, something that you know it's certainly great for us, but it's going to be great for recruiting new guys you know, bringing in top signing, stuff like that. So I, I think that's, you know, equally as exciting, but that new stadium is going to, it's going to be awesome. And hopefully, uh, you know, with the way things are, are kind of going in Ohio, hopefully we're able to, you know, get more and more capacity as we go into the later parts of the season. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be, it's going to be really exciting um, for everybody, for me, 
Uh, and, and just kind of looking back on, you know, I wasn't involved obviously in the, however many years ago that was three, four years ago, probably not maybe you know, about that when, you know, there was a lot of question marks about the future of the club and where is it going to be? And, you know, looking at it from afar, um, even not connected to the club at all, there's always, you know, that the bit of sentimental feeling, you know, knowing that, you know, something was going to get taken from, the state that I grew up in, you know, I, I want people to, to enjoy soccer in, in Ohio. And if the crew had left, um, it, it would have been much more difficult for that to, to be the case for a lot of kids growing up. So, uh, you know, the fans deserve it. The community deserves it. The city deserves it. And, you know, it's, it's great to see that it's, you know, coming to fruition so quickly after that.